Hey everybody, Steve here. Before we get started, uh, this popped up on my Facebook feed the other day. Seven years ago, Bella and I took a little daddy-daughter trip to Paris. This was uh, shot from beneath the uh, Eiffel Tower. Just thought I'd share that. Bella and I have good memories from that trip. We were in Dubai, uh, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter and I, and we saw this car here. It's a little pretentious, uh, this gold Rolls-Royce. Uh, that's something else. <laughs> And then there's a whole lot of these real nice cars, and I thought it was odd that there was this F-150 parked there, like like with the Maseratis and with the $100,000 Mercedes and with the gold Rolls Royce. And here's this F-150. I uh, thought that was kind of humorous. But, uh, anyway, let's get into the uh, trip here. So the Ravishing Mrs. Ritter and I took a little uh, Saturday morning drive around Al Raim Island. So here we are in Abu Dhabi looking... Uh, what would that be? What direction would that be? Northeast over towards Al Reem Island. Uh, here we heading out from the uh, stoplight. So you go over a little bridge, there's like little canals here. And there's actually a, a little island in between Abu Dhabi and Al Reem Island, uh, Al Mariam Island. And that's where the Galleria Mall is. A uh, very nice mall. We went over there today after this little trip and had some chicken strips at Raisin Cane's of all places. Those of you uh, that are blessed to have a Raisin Cane's in your town, you'll know what I'm talking about, that the hype is real. So that's the Cleveland Clinic right there to the left. That's a great, uh, great hospital. A uh, guy I work with just had triple bypass surgery in <laughs> that hospital, so it's pretty nice. But uh, uh, real, uh, real nice care. They got great uh, medical facilities here in Abu Dhabi. So we kind of head over. There's a little, little bit of spit of land here that they've got development on. As soon as we pass through this light, then it's off uh, over this next little bridge. We'll be over on Al Raim Island. So unlike Abu Dhabi, downtown Abu Dhabi, uh, Al Raim uh, Island is mostly um, residential. Lots of apartment buildings. Um, things like that that uh, that people live in, and there's a few businesses underneath uh, the buildings, um, and uh, yeah, but it, it it is just I mean in the in the see I was here uh, six years ago uh, it wasn't nearly this developed, and um, so. A few of you have been asking for a trip around Al Reem, so here it is. So I'll intersperse some talking a little bit with some uh, some music, so I'll sprinkle some of that in as well, so you don't have to hear me yapping the whole time. So take a little. I'll, uh, here's here's a little driving music for you as we head over this next little bridge, and then we'll be on Al Reem Island. Nice little drive around, nice little driving music, if you all like that. So driving around, looking it up, uh, apartments, you can find an apartment here on Al Reem. So those are the gate towers right there, the, the building with the, well, that looks like a giant gate. See the little uh, bar on the top there. So apartments there, uh, a typical apartment and on Al Reem runs anywhere from about 2000 to about, whoa, watch out for the bus, Steve. 
anywhere from about 2,000 to about 4,000 a month on our, our range. So uh, some of the nicer ones there. That's probably uh, at the gate tower there, probably about, hmm, about three, 3,000 a month or so for an apartment. So, and that's, that mo a lot, most of them come unfurnished. You can get some furnished, obviously. So this is kind of driving around the, the backside of the island here. So, uh, there was a there are, there is a hospital on Al Rame here, but this is uh, La Sorbonne uh, in Abu Dhabi. Of course, La Sorbonne. There's uh, the famous college in Paris, France, and uh, this is their Abu Dhabi uh, branch. That's the hospital there. Al Rame. So lots of bushes, lots of trees. It's really nice here. We'll kind of make our way around the back side here and you can see uh, room for more development in the future. And of course, in the distance, uh, as we make this turn here, uh, see there's some more construction getting to go up. Uh, we make this left-hand turn. Now looking out, we're looking out towards the, uh, the northeast again. That's Sadiat Island over there. That's New York University, Abu Dhabi, which the ravishing Mrs. Ritter tells me it's actually tougher to get in that one than it is the actual New York University in New York. So uh, it seems like it's out in the middle of nowhere, but that's Sadiat Island. Uh, that's where the Louvre is, uh, the, the branch of the Louvre, uh, the museum in Paris where the Mona Lisa is. I don't think the Mona Lisa is here, but uh, there's some nice artwork there. I'll try to get over there and see it. But that's uh, looking out towards uh, Sadiat Island, and now we're kind of change our perspective back around, moving back around. So let's put a little more uh, driving music on, shall we? It's just crazy how much construction is going on around Abu Dhabi. You can see there's there's more apartments going up. Honestly, as we're walking along, we're just like, who who's moving here? I mean, what what are they coming here for? I mean, there's already plenty. I mean, we you saw from the other previous drive I did over on Al Raha Beach over there. There's all kind of apartments going up and everything else there. So that might just be one of those questions that's unanswerable, like. Who invented cheese whiz and why? You know, it's just who who knows. Uh, I don't know who. So, but they're they're going up. They I I presume they've done uh, studies and everything else of uh, people living and, and everything else and you know who's moving here. So, anyway, um, certainly nice to look at. And uh, the apartments are are very nice and the views, of course, are are pretty awesome. So, guy I work with lives in the uh, gate towers and I apartment sat for him while he was home for a visit and uh, watering his plants for him and he's got quite the view looking back over it's pretty amazing so uh, it's kind of hard not to have a, a good view with the flat desert country like this 
But uh, kind of moving our way around Al Reem, still plenty of room for development. You can see they're starting to, there's some more apartments they're putting up. It's just incredible. All the construction and everything going on. We'll kind of move our way around the island here. And it's still, you know, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter and I made a couple of trips, have made a couple of trips up to Dubai now, just on the weekend or whatever to see some things. And it's just the, the development here in Abu Dhabi, just it, it, as fast as it is, but it's not as crazy and wild looking. I, I, Dubai is just so in your face. I mean, I, that's kind of like, Dubai would be kind of like, Vegas in the U.S. and Abu Dhabi would be like Omaha, Nebraska or something, I think. So as we're making our way around the corner here, um, we'll get around the back side. There was a nice little, um, uh, nice little park. We ended up kind of stopping. We, we both of us, we had our coffee and we're out just for a nice drive. I miss that when I'm home with my wife, just driving around and talking and drinking coffee and planning about the future and everything else. It's always nice. So it's kind of cool to do that here with her. So just driving around and checking things out. So we'll get a nice view of Abu Dhabi here in a second. So let's uh, bring the music back on a little bit. <music> So kind of heading down the west side now of Al Reem. Over to the right would be Abu Dhabi. Off to the left would be towards Sadiat Island and, and way off to the Dubai. Heading down the south here, uh, heading, what would this be? I, I don't know. I can't keep my direction straight. Um, so that's... that's um, there's a big, like I said, there's a big mall there, the Galleria Mall. It's pretty plush. Uh, it's probably the most close to what you see in Dubai. There's some pretty high-end stores in there. We were walking around looking at that a little bit. So, um, kind of cruising around, um, seeing some more of Al Reem. And, yeah, it really was a nice day. It's like 85 degrees. It's really getting nice here now. Uh, that's about as warm as it gets. So it's a high of 88 today Fahrenheit and a low of 70, which what's that equate to 20 C. Um, it's really, it's getting nice here now. The humidity's really died off. And uh, 
this is the nice time of the year. Uh, it'll be nice like this now until uh, probably mid-April. Uh, then it starts getting a little uncomfortable again. The humidity will start coming back up. And uh, so we're kind of sw actually kind of swinging back around uh, South Alreem Island. And we're going to kind of do a J back up to the north. So really nice buildings. Nice little overpass going toward towards the mall. Um, they're actually building another mall here. We'll see that in a second as we come along. But, uh, you know, that's, um, malls are a thing here. They just, they love their malls. Uh, everything packed in there. As much as they love Nissan patrols. <laughs> see those everywhere. So, um, I hope you've, uh, enjoyed the ride along yeah uh, they have traffic cameras in town too so i don't know if you saw that one just we just passed back by but uh, that's the new mall straight up ahead there and uh, we're headed um west now looking west back towards abu dhabi that's the the new mall it's supposed to be pretty nice so i'll have to take a stroll through that when they open it up here of course obviously COVID slowed some things down with the construction Everybody trying to move over into this lane here. This was a little sporty getting over. Just have to put your, turn the signal on and use nose position to get in there. Yep, there's the new mall. So nose position's everything here with driving. If you can put your nose in between somebody else, you're pretty much guaranteed getting in. So uh, now we're headed back up north again. Uh, we'll go up this way a little bit, and then we'll be headed back to off the island. Yeah, this. Not sure what uh, what other stores they can put in this mall that's not in the Galleria. The Galleria is pretty nice, and of course they've got all kind of other malls around too. Yaz Mall is the second biggest mall in the UAE. Dubai Mall is the biggest mall in the UAE. Just there the other day. So those are apartments up there as well. And uh, we'll be making this left turn up here and heading off. So I hope you enjoyed the ride along here. I know a few of you have asked about uh, if I'd take a drive around Al Reem. Well, your wish is my command. So let me know. Uh, leave some comments below if there, there's some other things that you'd like to see around here or anything else you'd like me to talk about or go over about uh, living here in Abu Dhabi. I've just signed on for another year, so i got plenty to plenty of time to talk with you about it but uh, leave me a comment below let me know what you'd like to see uh, what you'd like to hear about and I appreciate all the comments I appreciate all the support and uh, take care we'll see you next time